Hey everybody, Scott Tetweller here, back with another Photoshop tutorial. And today we're going to talk about lookup tables, otherwise known as LUTs. So a LUT, you can kind of think of it like a preset uh, in, uh, I'll say your best example would probably be Instagram, where you're uploading something to Instagram and they have all those predefined looks and feels that you can select from uh, to give your image a look and feel like everyone else who uses Instagram. Well, you can kind of do the same thing in Photoshop, uh, but the benefit of creating a lot here is that we can use that same lot in Photoshop as well as Premiere or DaVinci or many other applications. So the same look and feel can be granted to an image or a video once you have the LUT complete. So what I do is I want to talk about how to use LUTs today and then we're going to create some of our own. So if you're a person who's thinking, wow, I have a really unique look and I think other people would be interested in this look, I want to package these LUTs and I want to make money selling them online, this is how you would go through with that. Now obviously you don't need to sell all the looks and feels that are uniquely you. You can keep them to yourself and use them for different images that you create but I will leave that to you. My job is to simply teach you how to do it, uh, so then you can kind of make that call yourself. So to create a LUT is pretty simple, uh, but there's a couple words of warning I want to give you here based on experience. And that is when you start to, to work on an image and creating a LUT, we want to make sure that our base image is neutral, meaning if it is too warm or too cool, when we create our lookup table, we're going to be creating a look that is altering that base to fix it first. Meaning if we have an image that's too cool, our LUT is going to have to warm that image up enough so that it looks good. But if we apply that same lookup table to an image that is normal, it's going to be very warm, overly warm, uh, because we had started and created our lookup table on a cool image. So make sure that when you do this, that you're working from an image that is neutral first. Part of this lookup table also involves an older technology called ICC profiles. And that is any monitor or printer or anything that basically displays a visual image uses an ICC profile to be correct. Uh, so for example, uh, if you're sending an image to let's say one printer at uh, one facility, let's use Walgreens for example, um, you may say while well, they're overly uh, warm or they're overly cool, they can actually give you an ICC profile. So when you use their ICC profile, that image should print neutral there. But let's say you go to another printer and uh, at say some other big box store, they have a separate ICC profile. Those are in, in many ways, very similar to LUTs. In fact, Capture One does not use LUTs. It uses ICC profiles and applies them to each image, which result in the same thing. So to use a LUT is pretty simple. It's simply an adjustment layer. So you'll go down to your adjustment layer panel and use color lookup. So in here, there are a bunch that come with Photoshop by default, and you can just use your down arrow on your keyboard and look through them and say, wow, hey, I really like that one. That's pretty neat. Or that, why would you ever use that? <laughs> you know, um, to each their own. But like every so often you'll have a happy accident. And you're like, wow, I really like that one. And of course, just like any other layer in Photoshop, you can go ahead and drop the opacity and then create other layers on top of this. Um, you can also apply more than one uh, because they are simply layers. So if I wanted to double that up, uh, control J, I now see two, which is terrible. But just to give you the example, you can use these like regular layers. Now, if you want to see what comprises lookup table and how it was made, that's not possible. So a lookup table is simply, again, directions given to your display device to say, this is how we're going to modify how this image is viewed. There's no way to go back and see what was done to create it. So how do we create one? Well, let's make one. Uh, first of all, uh, it's any adjustment layer as a stack, but it's applied globally to the image, meaning the masks are not gonna be meaningful in these situations. So let's start with a curve. So I'm just gonna apply a curve here and I'm gonna take and raise the shadows a little bit cause I dig that. And let's go to the blue curve and put some coolness into the shadows a little bit and make sure our midpoint doesn't move. And then maybe I want to do uh, color balance and I want to add some warmth to the midtones, maybe a little cyan and to the highlights. I want to add a little of that and maybe a little of this. Again, it's totally subjective. You're the artist here. You're choosing what it is that you would like to do. 
and uh, let's maybe apply a humid saturation adjustment layer and pull the saturation down a little bit on this. And then we talked about how to use uh, gradient maps in a previous video uh, where you're picking a ramp of color and applying the dark parts to uh, this purple here and the lightest parts would be this orange. So you're remapping that. Again, if you're questioning how to do this, uh, I made a video on that uh, last week. Uh, so you can use this and we can change the blending mode or again, what I like to do is just lower the opacity. Uh, so it kind of gives it this little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a hint of a look um, that I enjoy. Okay. So we want to create a lot from this. We do file, export, color lookup table, and you're going to give it a name. So we'll call this the amazing LUT and copyright by me. And then uh, for the quality, I would just pick the uh, high. I think that's plenty uh, for what we're doing. Now notice down here, it gives many different formats. So cube is probably the most common format, uh, but different applications prefer it in different formats. And then again, the old ICC profile is available here. Again, if you're a Capture One user, this is the one you're gonna want. Uh, but why not just check them all? So what you should do then is uh, put it with your other Adobe presets. So um, that's stored in your app data roaming Adobe. If you're on a PC, on a Mac, I have no idea where it is, but I'm sure you can find it. And then in here, I would just create a new folder and let's call this look up tables. And then in here, we'll call this, oh, let's give it a fun name. Uh, the amazing LUT. There you go. It will go ahead and create that for you. And then when you're done, you can just delete all this stuff and say, hey, I would love to use that new lookup table. Color lookup, go up here to load. It'll pop this up and then you'll go to lookup tables. You know, amazing LUT, hit load. And there you go. You now have your lookup table exactly how you created it and it's ready to go. So if you would like to bundle this up and send it to a friend, they can now create images that look like this style. I think the benefit of this is being able to kind of create a quick look as a baseline for an image if you're stuck creatively or if you're creating a series of images and you would like to have a very specific look across all of them. There's obviously a bunch of different ways to do this, but the benefit of the LUT is that if we now wanted to create a video, we can have a video share the same look and feel. We can also bundle these up and give them to friends and say, hey, I hope this sparks your creativity. Anyway, so a quick video for today to just kind of cover lookup tables because it is all the rage right now and it is a very cool way to bundle a look and use it over and over again. So uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and I will create more Photoshop videos in the near future. Until then, stay safe and I'll talk to you soon.